Okay, for this video, we're going to talk about climbing the rope, then your ascending equipment, changing over to your descending equipment, and then coming back down. This is an absolute fundamental of rope access, so let's get started. We've got two ropes here, backup line and working line. I'm going to put my backup on first. Uh, it's a good habit to get into. Kind of like if you put your seatbelt on before you start your car, you'll never be driving away without your seatbelt on. So let's start with the back of one first. This is the duck. There's my cow's tail. Best way to stick the duck on is to move the cam out about 90 degrees. Clasp it in your hand, get some tension on the rope. Generally, the left rope tends to be the backup rope, but left handed, right handed people might choose something different, whatever works for you. Stick it onto the rope, and then we're going to take the carabiner out so that the cam pops round to the other side. Clip it in, do up your gate, function test, that's not going anywhere, and the back up. Shoulder to head height is a good place to be. Slide that up. Now I need to do my working line. Since I'm climbing, I'm going to go straight into my chest ascender or crawl. Open up the cam, stick the rope in. You can see I've got clearly two points of contact. Get some tension in that. And rather than pulling myself up in my arms, I want to use my hand ascender. Loop attached to this one, make it easy to climb. The hand ascender and the chest ascender are always going to go on the same rope. Foot loop adjusted to your height. You pull down, you can get a bit more tension through the chest crawl. This works best when you stand straight up. So think about climbing a fireman's pole. If you're leaning back, you're changing the angle of the rope going into the crawl. It's not going to work very well. Now the first couple of meters, this rope isn't weighted. So you're probably going to need to pull down on it, either with your hands, with your feet, or if you've got a mate that can help hold on to the rope. Once you go a bit higher, there's a bit more weight here, and it will start running through the crawl better. But for the first couple of meters, can be a bit annoying. Sit back into the harness, make sure you're comfy, and start climbing. Move the hand ascender up first, not too high, because then you're going to get a very large step to take. And you can hold on wherever is comfortable. I tend to hold on to the hand jammer or slightly above. And then this first climb, I'm happy enough just holding it, but you could pinch it between your feet as well for the same effect and then stand straight up. Use your legs, not your arms. Sit back into the harness. The chest crawl should be taking your weight. You see the back up is now slightly lower. So if I'm going to keep climbing, keep that back up between the shoulder to head range. Classic mistake at level one. Why is the hand jammer not moving up? Because you're putting your weight on it. So relax. Stop pushing it down up to the head height and then you can either hold on to the rope and then just pull yourself up using your legs. Here's two climbs. Now I'm going to do a changeover and start coming down in my descending equipment. Here's the rope that I'm going to attach to because we're still staying on the working line. The backup line should not be loaded. And I'm going to attach my descender and fairly close to the ascending equipment. You see I've now got quite a lot of slack between the two. I want to get rid of most of that. So keeping the descender unlocked, I'm going to pull this slack through, lock off the descender, and you see that I've got minimal sl rope, slack rope between these two devices. Now what I need to do is come out of the ascending device onto the descending device. I need my hand jammer to do that. If you stand up, you'll find you can take the weight off of the crawl. Just take the rope out of the cam, sit down, and as you sit down, just watch this carabiner isn't cross-loaded. That's quite a weak way of loading a carabiner. If that was to happen, it would look like that. We don't want that. 
So as you sit back down, the descender should be taking your weight. All you need to do with the hand descender, take your foot out, remove the hand descender, for this is only for climbing. Now just to stop your circuit all tangled up, put the foot loop back and stick it back on your harness. Just make sure that it's not getting trapped up amongst your other two ropes. And now I'm ready to come down. You can see my backup is still at head height, it's not loaded. And as we start descending, this rope has to run over the smooth part of the gold plate on the descender. It could come out to the side. It really does want to go out the back. It's not where it's supposed to, to go according to manufacture. It's a bit sharper there as well. This hand is going to be holding onto the tail rope. You don't have to hold tightly. This is going to take your weight. But you don't want to move too fast, otherwise it's going to start rubbing and potentially burning your hand. You might have gloves on where you are. This hand stays around about here, so that it doesn't go up. We don't get any snagging or pinch points. The left hand's going to do everything. So I'm going to move the back up down to about a descender height, or shoulder height, and then pull down on the handle stop before this goes tight, bring that back down again, no further than the descender or roughly shoulder height. All the right hand does is hold on to the rope. And if I need to stop and let go of this rope, then I'm going to lock that handle and then I can take my hands away and do whatever it is I'm being paid to do. If I was sitting here for any length of time, I'd be able to back up, back up to head height. If I'm going to continue descending, then hold on to the tail rope, Bring the back up down and down we go. And that is ascending a rope, changing over to descending equipment and coming back down.